Welcome to beautiful, sunny Vancouver, Washington. Yes, if you watched one of our most recent videos about our gas RV experiment, you'll know that... We didn't give it a glowing review. No, the ride was kind of <laughs> terrible. But in the comments, many of you shared solutions. Yeah, you had tips and ideas and things you had done that you were suggesting to possibly fix that. Yeah. And, well, that's what we're going to show you today. We're here at Roadmaster because it was on our way down from Alaska and we desperately needed to service our tow bar after that crazy trip. And while it was being cleaned, I asked the technician, I said, hey, I know you have sway bar solutions. I know you have suspension solutions. Do they really work? Really? I mean, we got so many comments from you guys saying that they changed, sway bars changed dramatically the ride of your coach. Uh, but, you know, the technician, I expect him to sell us on it. And he kind of did. He yeah. said, in a few hours, with a few simple parts, we can dramatically change the ride of your gas motorhome. Yeah, which seemed awfully confident. You know, it's really like, yeah, but is it really, really that big of a difference? Dramatically. Yeah, uh -huh. and he was like, night and day. So, okay, Mr. Technician Guy, we'll take your word for it. Yeah. Go ahead and slap him on. <laughs> exactly. So. They have finished up and we are ready to hit the road and we thought, well, we might as well all take this Journey. first <laughs> ride together and see if it really makes see a difference. See if it really makes a difference. I'm skeptical because... Okay, our first big turn here. This is usually where we get crazy rocking. Make it dramatic. Pretty much no side to side action there, so that's a good sign. But where did we just begun? turn here that would normally cause the body to roll a lot. driving through downtown Portland and almost the height of rush hour, which is not necessarily what we wanted to do. It's kind of what we ended up doing, but if she can drive through this, she can definitely drive through anything. <laughs> like a boss. Nice view of Mount Hood there and the beautiful Hood River. Those expansion gaps we just passed over would have normally caused the body to roll three or four, maybe five times. That, I mean, as you saw, it maybe rolled once, just a tiny bit. It seems like everything's more structurally sound, a little more firm, and the body roll has been reduced greatly, even just in this first five miles of highway travel. Yeah, it definitely feels more 
stable and which is nice as me driving I don't like the loosey-goosey feel it makes you feel nervous like you don't have control of the vehicle as much um, it was never not tolerable obviously I mean it is but this is already more comfortable feel it you know, could be in my head but that's what it feels like and this is why we don't like to drive in five o'clock traffic because there's wrecks While we're stuck here in traffic, I might as well tell you what they did. They installed a sway bar in the front. They actually removed the factory sway bar, installed their Roadmaster sway bar. And it, it's funny because it just, it's only a tiny bit thicker. And they told me that the fact that it's just a tiny bit thicker exponentially varies the strength. And they said it's over 100% stronger than the sway bar that's built in from the factory, which is interesting. On the back side, they did not remove the sway bar. They actually added a second sway bar to it, so it's a lot more rigid in the back. The last thing they did was install what they call a return to center steering stabilizer. It's like a giant shock, but all it does is it takes your wheel, so when you're turning, when you're turning, it will help bring your wheel back to center and it's supposed to help like with the wandering so you're not you know driving like the you know movie movie driving where you're kind of doing this the whole time so it makes the the steering wheel feel a lot more firm and stable and it's supposed to uh, what did they say help help with fatigue because you're not gripping the steering wheel and worried about keeping it straight because it's automatically coming back to straight anyway it's all interesting it, it, it all makes sense and they're all very simple products with a with a very short install time and so far i guess so it's good feeling pretty good normally when a big semi like this passes you can feel the wind fluctuate it kind of will knock you around a little bit not crazy but you feel it and there was two in a row so i should have felt that it's windy enough outside but there wasn't that like little fluctuation where you could feel like that little pulsing that happens as they pass you. That's good. These Fuse Solutions definitely help with ride and stability. One thing they do not help with is the up and down on the front end of the coach. That's That would only be fixed if we replaced the shocks, uh, which we're not gonna do because the Bilston shocks that are built into this chassis are supposed to be really good. Although, it feels like, I know they don't control the shocks, the up and down, but just having none of this makes it seem like our coach is doing this a lot less. It's probably just in my head, or maybe it was a combination before of the up and down and the side to side that seems so horrible, but now it's like we're not even doing that as much, which is a great benefit. the road more like it sticks through the curves and I don't have to work as hard to steer or to stay in a curve. That's good. I know this is just our first impressions but if you'd like to know more about each of the products they installed and how long it took and what the prices were and all that jazz we have that listed in the post that goes with this video so you can click on that somewhere here on the screen or in the description box down below. And as for those other dislikes in the video, well, we haven't, well, we heard from you guys uh, a lot of solutions for the transmission and engine uh, issues we were having, uh, fixes for those. We're still researching those, don't have a solid answer yet, but we will share in the future when we do find it. Yeah. As for the engine noise, well, Based on our recommendations, Fleetwood has just announced that they're going to be installing a, what is it, an insulation package yeah. into all of their new RVs. So hopefully the sound will be much quieter when we're driving, the engine sound, and the temperature will be lower on the doghouse, um, which is another complaint I've had. Yes. Uh, and 
they are retrofitted. Exactly, they are. We're going to Eugene right now to get retrofitted with that exact upgrade, and hopefully they will make that upgrade for everybody else with an RV from 2016. Yes. I'm just saying that. I can't guarantee it, but. But you should ask for it. Tell them we told you to. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Oh, and I almost forgot. Dash squeaks. Yes, many of you commented that we had a lot of dash squeaks and shaking, and you are correct, we do, because we have a few screws that have fallen out, and we are also getting those fixed in Eugene, so hopefully our next video update with the insulation package on the engine will also be about the new quiet dash. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully. In 600 feet, turn right onto the Coburg Industrial Way. In a quarter mile, you will arrive at your destination. You have arrived. suggestions and tips in our last video that led us to this yes so thank you very much yep. thanks yeah. for being with us thanks for going on a ride yeah. and we will see, see you, you next down time the road. hopefully with more answers yeah. bye, bye.